Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So yesterday I did a review of this tank, the CS-52. And I shared the game with you because it was quite a tense game, and it came down to the last shot or two. But I thought, you know what? Since this is an event tank, and a lot of people have been picking it up and driving it around, seeing a lot on the battlefield, why don't I share a few other games I had in this tank that can illustrate what it's capable of. They're not huge damage games, but they are both entertaining for different reasons. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okie dokie. So we're on the map that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Looking at the teams, um, they do have three tank destroyers, the Hellcat, Super Hellcat, and SU-100Y. All three tanks can hit and be pretty hard. Although this tank does have troll armor, which I didn't mention yesterday. The tanks I would really like to fight are the T-71. Just, this tank has great HG, I found, especially against light tanks. Oh, lovely. Ripped a few apart the other day. Um, but the tank I'm most worried about is the T-29 because of its armor. This tank is good, but against a heavy frontly, uh, I'm probably going to struggle. Anyway, let's hope he's not over here at A. Off I go. And I've got a support tank here. That's great. So the T-37 should be able to help me out with whatever I find, if I find anything at all. Oh, lo and behold, we found the Super Hellcat. Now, this tank doesn't have the best armor. I'm going to fire a shot in here. Wow, look at that. So that's nice. It's all a good start. And the T-37 wasn't afraid to get his tank dirty, which is nice. So he took a hit. And I'll take a hit for him as well. So between the two of us, we should be able to rip right through him. Uh, okay, I'll take a hit. Fine. Okay, okay. So he's out of the way. Now we're clear over here. Oh, lo and behold, the object 244 arrived. I guess I should have waited for him to take the shells for us, but eh, slow poke. Gonna get A here, might as well. And can I get a shot? Ooh. Ouch, so we know what that was. <laughs> uh, that must be SU-100. Unfortunately, our object did not get the memo. Oh, and the T-71 is there. I should have loaded HE. So I was thinking about firing a few more shots, but look, looky, looky. We have a T-29 just sitting out in the open. Happy days. So, yep, turn your, turn your target. Yes, that's it, that's it. <sighs> and I missed the shot. Uh, my fault there, but yeah, this T-29 does not know what he's doing. He's not using cover. He's not getting to the side. He's just out in the open, letting tanks hit him from whichever angle. <laughs> so not looking good. Together, uh, my buddy and I should be able to take him out. I'd love to track him here. Boom, he's trying to get away. Come on. And my buddy's uh, punished him twice, and now I can... Uh, Unfortunately, because I missed that shot, he is able to get away. Ah, my fault entirely. Now, the problem we have here is they have two bases. We also have an AFK, I believe. That's the Dicker Max sitting at the back, so that's no good. They don't know that, but they might because they've popped up over there. Now, I believe the SU-100 is somewhere over here. And that gun is pretty dang strong, so I just have to be careful. And lo and behold, what have we got here? Hello, Mr. SU. Was able to get a shot in and not take one in return, but now he knows I'm here. Um, we have two tanks approaching the Dicker Max on the minimap, so he's gone. I mean, he could be alive, I guess, but I don't think so, because he hasn't moved the entire game. Chances are likely he's just AFK. Okie dokie. Um... Now, I've got two bases, but yeah, time will run out if we're not careful. And they have three very healthy tanks. AT is attacking. That's nice. I mean, I don't know how an AT really attacks because it's a very, very slow tank. But at least he's trying to get over here, which is nice. And I've just told my buddy, hey, you know, get C. Uh, we need to stop the cap, and then we'll be able to hopefully take these tanks out one by one. A distance and it will force them to try and get the bases. So I'm heading over here. The AT hasn't spotted anything. Where is the S1? SU100 is somewhere around here, I guess. 
Maybe he left. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Oh, I tried something. Wow. So, yeah, I balanced the SU-100. That was pretty nice. As I said earlier, this armor is pretty troll, especially against tier 6 tanks. You're going to get a lot of bounces. It's surprisingly how tough this tank is to penetrate for those lower caliber guns. And now things are looking good. Um, not sure we'll be able to kill them all. But unfortunately, this Hellcat, I think, has decided he wants me. I guess he knows where I am, so I'm hopefully going to get a shot in here as he approaches. And can I get... Oh, wow. He missed that, so can I hit him? Uh, I'm going to change to HE, I think. I'm going to bump him a little bit. And oh, he's going. So, not a bad little game. It was a little dicey there, and had I had the SU-100 killed me, yeah, uh, that could have been our game. But lo and behold, yeah, we were able to finish them off. So not a bad little game to get started. Now, around this time, we were on a nine-game win streak with basically these two tanks. And I looked at the lineups and went, we're screwed. They have a Centurion 5-1, a Defender Mark 1. Both of those tanks have super turret armor. We do have an ML1. That is probably our best tank. But uh, the Defenders can't... Well, the Centurions, I should say, can control the middle like no other tank. They are gods on this map. So I said to my buddy, it looks like our luck is going to run out. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. I'm going to give it my best shot. Maybe I can take out a few tanks along the way. And lo and behold, there's the Defender. So we took a hit, so that's not bad. But hmm, what am I going to do here? Won't be able to pen this guy red. Wow. So I decided to change it to HE and actually do a little bit of damage. I mean, what was that, 52? <laughs> now, the one tank that's really weak on their team, I think, for most players, would be the AMX because it has no armor and a lot of people just don't know how to play it. But in a pro's hands, well, that's something different. So I'm playing very passive here. I don't even want to get spotted. At this point, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be the front line tank. I'm going to back on up and just take some shots from distance. And hopefully I'll be able to help my team. However, while I decided to run away, our bulldog decided to push on in. And not the tank to really do that against four tanks. So he's not going to be around long. However, he did at least light them up. And I will be able to get another shot in here on their heavy tank. So nice shot there. There's a T-29 over there, maybe not the best player, but he's not in an easy position for me to hit him. Might be able to get lucky. Nope. Now they're coming in for our type, but the Bulldog is a tank I definitely want to target. So here I go, boom. I wanted to change to HE, I just didn't really have the time. And unfortunately he is able to get away, or is he? Nice shot there, I'll take it. Now. The Bulldog may have died, but he does help out, actually, ironically, because he allows me to stay a little bit hidden. And that's all I really need, because I want this defender to fire his four shots. And once he's done that, and I think he has, now I can push on in and hopefully do some damage while he's reloading. So here I go. Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, he's fast. He's fast, but I'm willing to risk it. Took a hit there. Ouch. But we were able to get rid of the defender, so I think that's a great trade. Took another hit for my trouble, but... Ooh, setting it on fire. Well, that is nice. Thank you very much. And I managed to survive, so how about that? So 2,200, not bad at all. But the key is that we were able to get rid of those defenders. Wow. I did not think it would be possible. I thought they would eat us alive. And the Bulldog actually really helped. <laughs> um, I am going to die here. I'm going to peek on out to try and get this T-2020. He's got strong armor for me because he's a tier 8 heavy. I should change to APCR, but I don't. I figure he's sideways. Maybe I can get a shot in. I do, but I bounce. However, with 5v2, our IS is full health. I'm not sure how well he's done but at least he's got full health. They should be able to take it on from here. And the AMX is running all the way over there, so I'm just gonna jump around a little bit. 
and see if we can find out where that AMX is. Come on, buddy. Buddy's full health. That's great news. There's really no chance this AMX can pull it out because if it gets spotted, it's just going to get ripped apart. <laughs> and it has been spotted. Took one a hit. Will my buddy get there? No, because everybody else is just going to feast on his H-eable body. And there you go. So, the second game that I really did not expect to win. How much did the email do? I think it was 3,000, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. So, a uh, very solid game for one I really thought our luck had just run out. So, should you pick up the CS-52? Heck yes! It's got troll armor, a solid gun. It is a little bit slow for a medium, but it's decent. And against tier 6, you can feast. So, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, screw you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, give it a thumbs down. That's cool. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your buddies that you really like my channel. Really help me out, guys. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Ha! Huh, finally. Would be nice to get a few thousand, though. So, help me out, guys. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.